the food, my dear. We seem to have been waiting an extraordinary amount of time. Honestly, this new butler, though damned erratic, wait for hours, and all the food seems to come at once. He's damned impudent to boot as well. So like oh, do you think so, well, dear? Mm -hmm. He's always very polite to me. He may be to you, but he's damned impudent to me, dear. To... <laughs> <laughs> Your game, milady? <laughs> Say, blankets up. Will you hurry along with my roast pork? There's a good soul. And make sure it's a nice, fatty piece, will you? See that? Damn well, ignoring me. Ignoring me. Don't make such a fuss. He's very efficient. Maybe to you, dear. To me, he's damned impudent. Sorry. You're fat, my lord. <laughs> See what I mean, dear? I shall have to sack him. Steady on. We've enough servant trouble as it is. The handyman about to leave us and the plumbing's in a terrible state. It reminds me, dear, I must talk to you about the lavatories. They've all gone so to all. You're sweet, my lady. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're nuts, my lord. <laughs> Cheeky swine. How am I supposed to open these? Your crackers, my lord. <laughs> Does it, dear? Staff shortage or no staff shortage, he goes. Well, you know best, dear. What were you saying about the lavatories? They're broken, dear. Out the water, up the spout, down the drain. What? And we've sacked the handyman? How are we going to manage? You're pale, my lady. <laughs> You're potty, my lord. <laughs> 